Hey guys, welcome back to Off the Real. I'm Richard. And this, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I paused too long. I'm sorry. <laughs> you want me to keep going? I you forgot the name for a second. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. This is Off The Reel with Richard and Bilal. And we're gonna be talking about our favorite romantic movies. Yeah. Um, two 19 year old men, men talking about romance. Yeah. One thing that's gonna be said, yeah. the first things first is that um, we love, uh, at least I do, I love cheesy romantic comedies, but this is not it. Mm -hmm. It's, these are good films yeah. that uh, these good are films. romantic films. Like, you know, people say that there's a difference between movies and yeah, films. Yeah, these are films. These are, these are films. Um, not okay. to sound like super pretentious, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we yeah. definitely do, but it's all good. <laughs> There's some um, foreign in here that you're probably not going to know. First off, the Before Trilogy. Alright, I have an admittedly insane idea, but if I don't ask you this, it's just, uh, you know, it's going to haunt me the rest of my life. So, okay, first of all, for those, the viewers yeah, who don't know the Before Trilogy, like, yeah. that's... Okay, so Richard Linklater in yes, 1995 yeah, it was released with uh, Julie Depley and, and Ethan Hawke. Mm -hmm. um, premise is actually really simple. It's just two people literally walking around. Around is it foreign Paris? kind of Paris. Paris. Paris? It was supposed to be in San Antonio, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, I read the original script. It's supposed to be um, they come to San Antonio and just walk around. And shit, That's so. awesome. So the, the whole thing is like it's literally kind of like if, if you know what Boyhood is. That was another one of Linklater's movies that yeah. was shot. <clears throat> Over the course of an actual actor's life, to like to you know show him growing up. Yeah, this is kind of in the same way, except for like you're not following them consistently year by year. You're following these characters at points in their year, and when they say in the film that they're gonna meet nine years later, they mean that real time. So they literally make a sequel to that nine years later. Yeah, so midnight's the before last sunrise, time. before sunset, and then the last one is before midnight. Mm -hmm. And that one's the recent, the recent. Yeah, one. So what those recent. movies do so perfectly though is just. Capture. They capture just like reality, and yeah. it's like little kind of like, you know, like I, it's so hard to describe because there's nothing like it. Nothing happens, but you're really okay with yeah, that. Yeah, you're so. You're too uh, invested in what the characters are talking about. All I gotta say, like, all I gotta say for yeah. this is that I remember watching this and I felt like, oh crap, like yeah. I'm lonely. Like, yeah, yeah I, I. No, but it's, like, it's, it's, it's great. One, it's, it's one great. of those, like, you know, romance centered movies that just, like, they don't make you feel like garbage. It's like a Blue Valentine. But I mean, like, what that did so well is it made you kind of rethink the whole aspect of relationship. Mm -hmm. But this one kind of invites you into it. The next one is, uh, mm -hmm. talk, we're talking about. Her by Spike Jones. Are you social or antisocial? I guess I haven't been social in a while. Now that movie makes you feel like putting these back to back <laughs> in space and out of have crazy stupid love in there. Yeah. All right. Uh, her man. Okay, that's the definition of you know. You feel like you want to just like really just get get a nice drink after that because that was yeah. Because oh man. The premise itself is stupid. Yeah, you don't know what he it's falls about. in love with the computer. He falls in love with his phone. Like an uh, AI. Hello, I'm here. Hi. Hi, I'm Samantha. Which, he falls in love with AI. Yeah, which kind of is like this like Lars, uh, did you see that one with Ryan Gosling? Where he falls in love with like a sex doll? Oh no, I didn't uh, see that. Lars and the Real Girl. It's a lot like that to where it's like, it's a really bizarre premise that just is really sweet. Every time I try and get someone to watch this movie, they're just like, oh, what's it about? I'm just like, oh, you know, it's about a dude that falls in love with his phone. They're just like, all right, buddy. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to watch that, that. man. Yeah. No, yeah, it's, so it's a like, movie. I mean, definitely a good movie. But it's it's a really good analysis of like human interaction, human connection. Mm -hmm. I mean, what does that mean with artificial intelligence? Does it make us stronger as humans, or does it kind of is that like a shadowy kind of effect in a way to where yeah. like, is this even like malleable and kind of real and shit like that? So, I mean, he covers a lot of that. Amazingly. Next one, <laughs> Crazy Stupid Love is actually a movie that makes you feel good. Yeah, yeah it's a good yeah. movie. I slept with someone. If Didn't you keep count, talking, but, I'm gonna get I, out of the car. I think the fact that I did it, it just shows how broken we are. Okay. How much, how much we really. Oh my God! Help! It's, a, it's um, a good laugh. It's. We're it's, talking about how we we're talking about earlier before we we're filming that. Mm. I felt that this film is like really, really popular, but it's a real good film. Like, it's one of those two where it's like you don't mind talking about what other yeah. people are talking about. This is, I know exactly good. what you're talking about. Um, to where it's like when people hype it up enough. Yeah. <laughs> Lala. <laughs> um, <laughs> Lala. But yeah, uh, Crazy to Beloved has Ryan Gosling. 
Um, and Emma Stone. <laughs> Emma Stone, uh, Steve Carell. Uh, Julianne Moore. So, I mean, it's... I, I liked it a lot. It was fun. Yeah, it was you know? fun movie. All right, guys, that was Off the Reel with Rich and Bilal. I hope you guys watch more and are interested in yeah. what we have to talk about. Thanks for watching. Click our logo to subscribe or click one of the videos for more from the Paisano. Leave a comment letting us know your thoughts and what you'd like to see us cover next.